Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to prepare for GET Biotechnology Examination. How to qualify GET Biotechnology Examination. I have received this query a lot of times that we know what GET Biotechnology Exam is. We are from biotechnology background, but basically when you're trying to prepare, we see so many things and so many uh, topics. So how can we actually manage our time for the preparation of GET Biotechnology? You know, GET Examination is conducted for GET Biotechnology and GET Life Sciences. GET Life Sciences is known as GET Excel. GET Biotechnology is known as GET Get B. So get biotechnology syllabus is different than get life science syllabus. Get life science can be, uh, you know, the exam can be attempted by any individual from the uh, field of life sciences, any discipline from the field of life sciences. But get biotechnology is basically for the candidates from biotechnology field to apply for this examination. Now, if you are from any other field, but if you still want to apply for the biotech oriented examination, then that exam will be BET, biotechnology eligibility test conducted by an stipend provided by the DBT department of biotechnology now the gate biotechnology examination is similar that like gate life science examination the syllabus will be different because the concepts and topics will be added based on the biotechnology syllabus in details so the very first thing is that while you try to prepare for gate biotechnology examination i've designed this seven step process for a better preparation of gate biotechnology examination and the process starts with the syllabus and question the backbone of any preparation particularly here in get biotechnology is you need to understand the syllabus very clearly and the questions are uh, very good like previous 10 years or 15 years question papers now what you need to do is that you need to study the syllabus and question paper and you need to stick to that you need to find a heat map from that question paper by studying the syllabus you need to check the question papers for 10 years or 15 years to find out from which topics the questions are repeatedly asked and make a heat, heat map once you have the heat map you are marked uh, you need to mark the topics from that heat map into the syllabus that which topics are very very important then you need to distribute your routine uh, and the distribu distribution of the routine is very important where you distribute it based on uh, the topics that you've already learned and the topic that you haven't learned before and after the distribution is done you put the time frame whether you will take six months or take eight months or a year for the preparation it's fine depending upon your own routine you set it and then after the selection of the routine you need to start preparing from the peer-reviewed books and the list of these peer-reviewed books are already listed in here and you can go through all this preparation of this peer-reviewed books very very important that you go through this uh, these reviewed books rather than simple notes yeah obviously you can prepare notes that's not there's no problem with uh, making your own note it's actually good uh, the, if you can make your own note but basically during this time you need to prepare from these books it uh, starts with the bioprocess engineering by doran prescott's microbiology kubis immunology and for biochemistry strats biochemistry leninger's biochemistry cell biology by carp molecular biology by watson or gene series gene 8 or 9 bioinformatics sequence and genome analysis by david w mount these are the some some of the very common books that you can prepare and they are very good books uh, for the preparation but apart from that you can always go back to you know uh, while you're reading it from the books make notes and also take the help of internet resources including youtube lectures and you can build your own notes but book reading is very very important then the previous year question solve is another approach after reading the books after you know that you have you have checked you have uh, you prepared the topic well enough then you go and check your skills uh, by trying to solve some of the previous year's questions and here you'll find the actual bummer because at this point you'll understand that whether you prepared it well or not so based on that degree of knowledge you can go back and prepare the same topic again and revise it so that's the seven different stages for the preparation of the get biotechnology examination so the stage number one that i mentioned that starts with the syllabus as well as the question paper remember the syllabus is very important because that's that's what you need to read that is the exam the question will come from that and you have the previous year's question paper what you need to do is you need to put them together and you need to check how many questions are asked from each topics that are present in the syllabus now this thing will take time it will it may take one week or two weeks but give this time believe me it's going to make change in your preparation not only for gate biotechnology but for any other competitive examination studying the syllabus with the previous year's question paper to find out important topics and the degree of importance that they have for the past 10 years is the key to understand and key to jump at the first level of preparation 
Now the second thing is making this heat map. While you while you compare them, and you need to find out the topics which are very important and write it down. And based on their importance index or level, you'll write it down. We call it the heat map. Okay, the heat map is ready. Once the heat map is ready, now it's time for you to check the marks distribution from the syllabus. Okay, so what you need to do is simply you need to find out the topics which are most important from the heat map, and you need to mark that topic in the syllabus and print the syllabus, stick it to the wall, stick it to the place of your study room, so that you can watch those topics underlined or highlighted every single day while you try to prepare that. You go through that topic. and you need to start preparing from the peer reviewed books okay so once you know that you finally form a routine the routine depends on your regular day to day life so whether you may take 6 months for the preparation you may take 1 year for the preparation it doesn't matter it's not uh, mandatory that you need to prepare it under 6 months or a year you take your time but be realistic while designing a routine don't just you know think that you will qualify within preparation of one month or two months because when i try to search this thing you know get biotechnology or csi net or any other competitive exam i find out that in the in the youtube uh, auto search it's found out that how to qualify csi net in a month how to qualify get biotechnology in a month how to qualify bt biotechnology eligibility test in a month so that means students are getting anxious to qualify fast they want to invest less time but to qualify the similar and even more complicated exams because the number of students applying every single year is increasing so the competition is increasing and now the students trying to qualify within a month they are trying to search a way to qualify within a month or two months they are trying to find out crash courses rocket courses capsule courses which are going nowhere which will take them nowhere basically will invest somewhere and lose their money and lose their parents money so what's going on if you don't invest time forget about this career do something else leave this if you want to stay here you need to invest time okay so 6 month 1 year even 6 month is shorter for a preparation of examination like get by technology so you need to invest time i am not saying that there are not exceptions obviously if someone is preparing very well for their graduation and master days then they can qualify within 2 3 months of preparation but most of them are now struggling to understand even very basic concepts about biology during their graduation and masters particularly because of the corona period for last 3 years along with that they are based on the semester based syllabus where the teachers already give them the question they are going to ask in the exam so that kills the preparation style and that's why they find it really difficult to qualify in the upcoming any kind of competitive examination so at this present one what we need to do is design a routine stick to the routine and start from start reading from the peer reviewed books i listed the name of the different peer reviewed books and start preparing from those books biochemistry molecular biology cell biology biotechnology bioinformatics bioprocess engineering from those books so once you know that once you go through that once that is over then come back trying to solve previous years question papers and then previous years question paper solve approach will start from the preparation starting point of the preparation but it will increase the number as you go at the end so at the last one or two months of the preparation you will revise what you will check your preparation scheme and preparation schedule at the end try to solve some questions and then you'll find that there are some questions you are stuck and those questions are something that you need to go back and read from the peer reviewed books or from internet resources or from like youtube or facebook telegram or any channel that you are presently in so you can take internet resources but you know authentic internet resources to get the good data the correct data and then you prepare that and go back read it and again come back and practice the previous year's questions so previous year's question practice try to find out answers get it fine don't get it go back to the reading book and from internet resources done and come back to solve some previous year's question so this is the loop that will continue and that loop is in this case revision loop and that concludes your understanding this revision loop will continue until the exam and last 4 5 days and 7 days before the exam basically what you will do is simply again check the questions and also go through the uh, you know just go through the pages of your notebook that you maintained and i personally believe to maintain a notebook taking note from the video lectures that you watch taking note from the internet resources that you read and also the books that you read so because you know at the end point 5 6 days 7 days before the exam is not possible to go through the peer reviewed books from a to z that time is at the beginning of the preparation is gone so now what you can do is simply go through simple things you know simple lines and all that is written in a book and that is only possible if you maintain that so if you maintain that as a notebook the revision will be faster otherwise you cannot do proper revision because while you see the books you see the images and and things it 
it feels like you understand you know but when you try to solve a question you'll find the actual problem that you are facing and your journey as a student as an aspirant as a candidate for the get biotechnology examination is to minimize the gap is to find out where you lack to answer a question and what you need to do to cover that that's the journey that you need to embrace okay so that's all about the get biotechnology examination how to qualify get biotechnology examination how you should qualify get biotechnology examination with a proper preparation schedule so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye